Hello. Do you understand that our life is full of myths? I want to tell you about one of them. To begin, listen please the fragment of traditional Einstein speech. It follows from the special theory of relativity that mass and energy are food, are first different manifestations of the same thing. Well, thus Einstein in this fragment says that the mass energy equivalence formula is a consequence of the special relativity theory. For more than a hundred years this statement is being repeated, although such statement is a delusion. The mass energy equivalence formula has no any direct relation to the special relativity theory, as it will be shown later. As to the century of repetition, it says a lot about all of us. Partially, the situation is explained by some complexity and non-transparency of the formula derivation, owing to using the special relativity theory. And uh, as to conclusion obtained from the formula about the possibility to create a nuclear bomb, it is most probably not the most important one. Well, the article with the formula derivation was published by Einstein in 1905. In that article, Einstein considered a situation when a massive body at rest emits two similar photons in opposite directions with the total energy L. The situation is analyzed in two systems. In the massive body system, and in the second, any other moving system. In the first system, obviously, the body after emission remains where it was before emission. So, in the second system, the body does not change its velocity at the emission. At the beginning of article, Einstein compares all corresponding energies in both systems. As to the concept of kinetic energy, Einstein defines kinetic energy as the difference in energy in these two systems, of course only for the massive body. Further, he considers the change in this kinetic energy of massive body during the emission, and he expresses this change through the difference of the total emitted energy in two systems. To find for this purpose the energy of photons in the moving system, Einstein uses the special relativity theory. Well, at the end of derivation, not especially, the analysis of the obtained relationship is performed in the region of low non-relativistic velocities. As the body does not change its velocity at the emission, the relationship may be true only if we assume that the body loses some mass during the emission. So the relationship between the emitted energy and the mass loss is obtained. That is, we have the equivalence formula. Well, we paid attention to the transition at the end of Einstein's article to low non-relativistic velocities. In fact, the obtained equivalence formula has no any direct relation to the special relativity theory. Derivation of this formula may be obtained using the same scheme as Einstein's, but fully within the framework of classical physics, simply and clearly, and no one way. That is, for example, another derivation, the most simple. In the first system, the photons have no resultant momentum, but it takes place in the second system. Due to motion of the system, the photon propagation directions, as well as the directions of the photon momenta, must deflect from their positions in the first system. Because of this, in the second system, the momentum of each photon receives the appropriate increment. Every increment in turn can be expressed in terms of the photon momentum itself. The resultant momentum of photons in the second system 
is taken from the massive body at the emission. The body loses momentum, but its velocity does not change. Therefore, its mass should decrease. Thus, we have the decrement of mass at the emission of photons, which is expressed through the total of values of photon momenta. Recall that for the light waves and for the electromagnetic waves, the energy and momentum are connected by a coefficient c. It is a proven fact of classical physics. Therefore, we obtained that the mass loss can be expressed in the terms of the total energy of photons. That is, we have the mass energy equivalence formula. Well, there is reason to believe that the essence of this relationship is revealing the unity of the inner nature of both kinds of particles, massive and massless. Note the derivation of the formula according to the Einstein scheme is based on some kind of contradiction. Therefore, this derivation does not provide clarity. But if we assume the possibility of the wave nature, both for the photons and for the massive particles, then there is no problems in considered situation, neither in energy nor momentum. The simplest fragment of standing wave consists of pair of opposite traveling waves, which are similar to the pair of photons in the Einstein scheme. As a result, one can suggest a more correct statement of the relationship than the equivalence of mass and energy. A better one is the localized energy, namely wave energy, exhibits the properties of mass, namely inertial properties and gravitational ones. In more detail, see indicated site and the article. Thank you.